Welcome to Draw Kids where anybody can learn. Now if you love drawing, go ahead and give us a subscribe so you could come back and hang out with us. Today we're drawing an awesome Mahi Mahi. So grab your pen, paper, and something to color with and let's draw. Alright, so here we are drawing our Mahi Mahi. What we're going to do first is we're going to draw a, the letter D right here in the middle of the page. Now this letter D doesn't really have anything to do with the fish except it's going to kind of give us some points of perspective. So right in the middle of the page, let's do the letter D in pencil. We're going to erase this line later, but it gives us a, a starting point and a point of reference for our fish. Perfect. So after you have that down, let's go ahead and move over to our trusty marker. Or you can keep drawing with pen if you want to. But I'm going to go move to the marker. Awesome. So right here on the top of the D, Towards the top, we're going to do the top of the fish's mouth. So kind of like a small arc, like that. Perfect. Now on the bottom, we're going to do the bottom of the fish's mouth. So we're going to curve up and down like that. Nice. Now on this, on the top line, we're going to kind of curve it down. So that'll be like you're seeing the other side of the fish's mouth. Good. Next, we're going to do the bottom, what would be the bottom jaw. So kind of curve it down like that. And then we're going to go down towards this line to the D. Perfect. Next, right at the top of the D, we're going to do four circles. We're going to do a daddy circle, a mommy circle, a kid circle, and a wee baby circle. So a little bit above the top of that D. Let's do... daddy circle. Good. Now hugging this right side, we're going to do mommy circle. Good. Now right in the middle of that, we're going to do kids circle. Good. And towards the top of that kids circle, we're going to do the wee little baby circle. Got it. Now color in the kids circle. Good. Over the top of that, we're going to do like an arc. So kind of come down here and come down to that side. Good. All right, let's move back to the front of the fish. We're going to do a couple of humps before we get to the forehead. So let's do a tiny little one. That's like the top lip. And then we're going to do like a medium one. That's kind of like the fish's nose. And the next one's going to go almost to about here. So it's kind of going to go straight up and then curve right at the top. Perfect. So that's like his forehead. Awesome. So let's start right here at about just above the back of the eye and we're going to curve this down almost like a D. And we're going to curve it down to the bottom jaw. So this will be kind of like part of his gill. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to curve that down to the bottom jaw almost. Nice. Let's do one more, a little bit back and a little bit higher. Kind of, kind of follow the same thing. It's going to be wide and it's going to get closer and we're going to come to that same spot. Good. Perfect, perfect. Awesome. So right about here underneath the eye, we're going to just make a little curve back to that jaw. Nice. Alright, so let's work our way down this D. So about halfway down to the point of the D, let's do the bottom fins of the fish. So it's almost like a V, like a V that's kind of curved this way. So kind of like a curve like that. And then bring it back up. Nice. So let's draw the, a line from here and connect it to the bottom of the, of the gills. Good. Now the second fin that's just like this is on the other side. So let's come, kind of mimic that but a little bit smaller. The curve. And the curve. Perfect. Alright. 
So let's continue this line through, almost like it's going behind the fin, and then let's work our way out to about, maybe to about right here. So again, man, imagine this line's going through, and it's coming out to about here. Nice, so let's double that line up. So starting skinny, let's follow that. And towards the bottom, let's flare it out a little bit. Nice. All right, so taking this line, let's follow it almost like it's following down the D. And this will go towards the tail, and it's gonna to go to about right here. So follow this curve all the way to about right there. Nice. All right, we're getting there. So let's take this forehead line and see how thick his head is here. Let's kind of keep that, that shape the same thickness until it's gonna to come to about here. So kind of keeping that thickness all the way around and then we're gonna come down here to this fin. Got it? So let's follow this line. Getting thinner, 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 right to about there. Nice. All right, so pretending like this line goes through, let's start about here. So pretend like this line is going through. We're gonna start here, and we're gonna come down to where this other fin is, to the bottom of the, the tail. Nice. So as you see, this is kind of like the, his bottom, his bottom fin. So let's continue this line all the way down to, to here and close it off. Good. Awesome. All right, so here we are going to the tail. Here on the tail, we're gonna do a line up and a line down. So it's kind of like, let's go up at an angle like that. And then we're gonna come down to about here. Nice. So just like this is going to be on the other side. The point. And then back to there. Nice. All right. So this is a fin. So let's clean this up. Let's stretch it out a little bit. And this is going to follow down, along down the body. But it's going to be kind of um, jaggedy. So this is a fin here. Let's kind of work our way down the body. And at the very end, give it a couple little flares like that to the body. See that? So this is the bottom of the fish all the way to the other side. Almost like the fish is kind of bent. All right, so on the other side, just like this, we're gonna do the top of the fish. So do a couple of humps. And towards the bottom, we're gonna do a jiggity jaggy like that one. Perfect. All right, so here we go. Let's do this side fin. So right about here on the side of the fish, we're gonna do almost like a leaf shape. So up and over, and then down and close. Nice, we're gonna do one more line under there to kind of give it a little thickness. Perfect. All right, we're almost there. So right here on the forehead, we're gonna kind of take this line almost to the top of the page. Perfect. Now doing a jiggity jaggedy, jiggity jaggedy, we're gonna come closer, closer, closer until we meet the body to about right here. Perfect. All right, so there is our fish. I'm gonna clean up some of these lines and then we will color. All right, here we are, we're about to color. What I like to do in the beginning of my coloring is I like to gather up all my colors ahead of time so I'm not digging through all my colors. Um, for those of you guys who have smaller sets or maybe you have less colors, it's, it'd be easier, but for me, I got 100 colors so it's easier for me to get my colors out ahead of time. What I like doing is getting my colors from light to dark, so light, and then work my way up to dark. You can always put a darker color on top of a lighter color, but you can't go the other way. Well, with markers anyways. If you're painting, you could get away with it, but with markers, it's easier to go light to dark and start later layering forward. Um, so that's my trick. 
Uh, hope it helps you out. Let's color. Thanks for hanging out with us drawing our awesome Mahi Mahi. I know yours came out great. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time on Draw Kids. Bye!